Hey everybody, it's your good girlfriend coming to you live. Well, you're alive. Aren't you alive? I'm glad I'm alive. <laughs> well, I'm Nate Johnson from the Host Heron Wigs, and we're gonna be showing you the featured wig of today. It is Vernetta, and Vernetta is so pretty. For those ladies that do not like silky hair, you like texture, you like yakky, more of a coarse hair, you're gonna love this wig. And I'm going to be showing you this wig right after we come back. But listen, before we do that, before I leave, come on, let's get to know each other. Tell me who you are and where you're watching me from. Put your names down in the comment section. Let me know what state you walk, uh, you're watching me from. You know what? We have 309 stores across the country and we're looking to increase those stores. So why don't you go out and support us and buy some products today in Walmart and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I have got so many reviews on people's hair is growing, getting thicker, getting longer. So I know our hair care products work and I want them to work for you. But since we're here, Tag a good girlfriend. Let her know that Hate Johnson from La Host Hair and Wigs is on. The big wig show has just started. We're going to show you our featured wig. Let someone know, share, tag. And if you're watching me on YouTube, thank you so much for your support and watching me on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. And I will be back right after this. Welcome, everybody, to the big wig show. Make sure you tag, share, and follow the host. Now welcome my wife, the host of Big Wig, Hey Johnson. Welcome back. Again, it is time to wig out. I'm Hafe Johnson of La Host Hair and Wigs and the featured wig today. Her name is called Vernita. So let's check out Miss Vernita. Let's see what she looks like. All right, no, it is not witchcraft. I just have a great editor. So this wig is copper color. So do you see the fullness? It's not silky. Remember, I, in, your, in some of my other wigs, it has more of a smooth, silky finish. A lot of ladies say, hey, I like my straight wigs, but I do not want baby doll hair. That's one of the first things they say. I don't want baby doll hair, and I do not want silky straight. This is another option. So let's get her all together. First thing I'm going to do is put in that protecting shine. All right, we're gonna spray it. Just a little bit to go a long way. And then also, if you have your own hair and you wanna flat iron your hair, use the Protect and Shine. It's going to seal that cuticle down. And for synthetic wigs, it keeps it where you can get the comb through, you can get your fingers through without tangling and knotting. So that's gonna keep your tangling at a bare minimum. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is take the comb back like this. I'm going to just, you know, have everything. I'm going to see how the wig is made, how it's kind of styled. So when you do this, when you kind of put everything the way it belongs, so that's how it goes. Why am I taking my time to do this? Because when you do that, it's going to look more orderly. It's going to look more natural. It's going to look beautiful. And you don't have hair or well, you don't have fibers all over the place. Next thing I'm going to do is take our solution. A little bit of go a long way, so you do not need a whole, whole lot. Next thing I'm going to do is take my fingers, take it through on the top, and I'm doing that on purpose, and I'm flattening it down. So in case you don't like poofy hair, some women look amazing and full 
full puffy hair. I mean, they just do. They, they can carry it. Their personality can carry it. But if you're saying, hey, I like a little bit more subtle, I need her to come on down. Come on, come on, come on, come on down, girl. This is how you calm her down. You take your fingers and you flatten her out just like that. You bring this around like this. Mm-hmm. And you bring that back. Why you bringing that back? Because you know that's going to look natural. But if you like me and you got big ears, I don't know what my mama and daddy was doing to create these big ears. But whatever it is, don't do that to your kids. Yes, I have big ears. That is one of my things. I have big ears. A lot of people don't know because I wear a lot of hair. So you don't see my big ears. But I have big ears. Okay. But I hide them by just taking some of the hair back and bringing some of the hair up. Look how cute that is. How natural. Again, if it's too fluffy, oh, let me say this. You can curl this wig with some cool flat arms. Not cool, cool, like cool, cold, but cooler than lukewarm. It got to be kind of cool. Start it slow and then ease it up. And then you can put some heat rollers on here and you can get a whole nother style out of this wig. This is the other thing. As the wig gets older, experiment with it, okay? So I'm saying take your temperature slow, um, high, you know, as you're gradually taking them up. The reason why I'm saying that is because I don't want you to put that flat iron in there and then you burn up all the fibers and you be like mad at me and you be calling me and I'm like, oh no, that's not my fault. I told you the wig was fiber, it's plastic. Why would you put hot? Let's not even have that conversation. So all you gotta do is start cool and then gradually take it up. But as you do it, it's going to get flatter and straighter and smoother. So just letting you know. So if it is too coarse, you want to smooth it out, it is heat friendly. This is the back. So you see it doesn't have a lot of length. It doesn't even really hit your shoulders at all. All right, now let me show you. This is the copper. Let me show you what it looks like in a number two. All right, now this one is an off black. Well, it's really like a number two, okay? It may come up at the website as a natural, but it's a number two, which means it's a little smidget lighter than the 1B. And you see the, um, the, the variation that it looks different from the copper, okay? And it does come in jet black and it does come in off black. So this is how this one looks. You're gonna use your comb. Take it back. And the reason why I love wide tooth combs, especially on fiber, okay because it does not tangle it when it's smaller combs like this you're going to get more frizz you're going to get more tangled so try not to use small tooth combs you want a wide tooth comb but do you see how natural that looks now i'm going to take this wide tooth comb and i'm just going to kind of bend it over that way you can have that nice polish finish on that side i'm going to do the same thing over here but listen now this your party you shows up how you want to. If you want those curls kind of all over the place and kind of this way, that way, you're fine. Who you got to ask? Don't ask nobody how you should wear your wig. I say get in there, play with it, find out where the ear tabs is, adjust it. Listen, I like a deep part, so I'm always taking my wigs to the limit. I take them all the way to the side because I like that swoop. I like one eye covered more than the other because to me, it kind of pops the style. It makes it look more natural. Who's not going to love a great wig and a great natural looking wig? This gives you all of that natural looking wig. All right. So there you have it. Again, this is Miss Vernetta. Is it Netta or Anita? I think it's Vernita. Miss Vernita. You're going to love her. If you want to get her, please go to www.leehosthair.com. Don't forget to use that code so you can get a little, you know, a little discount. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to the featured wig of the day on the Big Wig Show. See you next time. Mm -hmm.